Alright, boys. Another game here. Mono red this time. I'm going to keep this. This is... Whoa. This is ideal. Another land instead of the heel cutter would be nice. So here, if I can get another land, I can swing for some massive damage here. Like I was saying, uh, four Titan Strengths. I think I only have three Swiss Spears in here. I need to get another one. Um, four Rabble Masters, but I like the Rabble Master as like a decoy. You, you don't... <laughs> I, I like Heal Cutter more than Rabble Master. I mean, Rabble Master is just a threat that needs to be answered, which is what I really like it for, because it s strides them away for... For like my Swiss Spear and my Heal Cutter and other things. So like on turn three, if I play Rabble Master and I have a Swiss Spear and like a Denizen out and they have a Bile Blade in their hand, like it's gonna kill them, or it's gonna kill the Rabble Master rather than that, which is nice because then I could just start swinging. But uh, I'm perfectly fine with that because now oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yep, this is going to be bad here. Alright, time to step on the gas pedal, boys. Any blocks? No blocks. No, There's no way he's blocking. Oh, that sucks. Yoink, yoink. 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 I uh, don't need that. All right, so he's at 11. If I can draw, I really like. I really would have liked to land there. I already got. I already played my land. I mean, I would really liked. I would like to draw a, a, a land this turn. Because depending on what he could play, a course here is probably what he's gonna play. That's fine. Because now here, whatever one on Titan strength he blocks with his sword wise thing is gonna is gonna die. Of course, no land. So, so he just so he just clear. I just cleared the board with, with Titan strengths, and dealt three damage and scryed two. Gonna respond or what? All right, it's kind of a weird play. I guess I didn't create the board, but I got that out of his hand, so I kind of... I thought he was going to play the other one, where it was the one mana drop. Give, like, plus one, plus one hexproof. That's what I was more worried about. Because then my uh, Swiss Spear would have died. My other one. Perfect. I'm guessing... Interesting. Alright, so I could play a Rabble Master here. I'm going to. I'm going to play this. Next turn, he dash in my Heel Cutter. I might attack with both here. I'm not going to play a spell next turn. 
Yeah, I'm attack with both. I really want. I hope he does the help, and then if he can leave a gob. Oh wow! Does he have an? Does he have another one? That's fine. Well, that sucks. <sighs> I was hoping that I would have either left him with one creature. Or he would have let one of my, or he would have let my. Another mystic, probably. So he's got one card left, and he's got no card. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Um. So then he could double block that. He would only ha I would have t a goblin, but then I would have. Yeah, let me cast this with dash. Cause I got more cards than he does. Actually, you know what? I won't even tag with Proud Master. I'll just... Wait. Because uh... he's probably going to double block with the Mystics, which are fine. Because then I'll have both of these out here. Uh... I will just do that. Target that. Hopefully sneak in four, and then is it double block that? That's fine. That is. Now I'm I'm even happier that he didn't do that. So what he's got on the board is less frightening than what I got on the board. Because if I get a land here. I'm gonna block that. <sighs> so he's only got four. There it is. So I'm just going to make him answer my threats. So I'm just going to go wide here, make him block two of them, which are probably going to be the Rabble Master, which would be a four. But then, oh my god. Because he's got 12 damage there. And I'm coming here with 2, 4. It would force him to block. Uh, this is probably the worst mistake you can make. You could just block that, take one, two. You could just take six. I mean, my guys will get counters. Hmm. <sighs> This kind of sucks. I'm 
to do this. Ah, I lost, whatever. Yeah, I was going to have it, because I mean, the balance one, I don't even know what my next card is. This is that was a mistake. But my goal is to hope. I'm okay with that. Because my goal then is if he attacked, put me at three, I can then just dash, swing for six. Oh, he'll be at eight. So you could have just eight you could have blocked two goblins. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well here's where Stokes would be nice. Okay. You put me at seven. It's kinda of just cash this normally. Now if I play him post combat, I'm going to. I'm not going to attack. And I'll play him post combat. There we go. So now here is where, it, uh, what is this, Courser? That sucks. Oh, uh, so is uh, I don't have six damage. Uh. That sucks. Ass. God. S those goddamn stupid piece of rangers, whatever the fuck that is called. That and these two that he played. Aspect of Hydra. Both of those help him. Both of those won the game. That stops a relative. I did play pretty stupid, but. Do you like it? Just swing out, man. He can't block. I could lose all of my creatures. I don't have any bird I could do. Please hit okay. Please hit okay. Please. Please hit okay. Oh, man. I'm just gonna double block. Oh. Okay. Oh wait. I'm just gonna go for glory. Cause if I get a heal cutter. He doesn't have trample, does he? He does have trample. Are you fucking kidding me? Trample, really? It's still six, though. Or whatever. Heel cutter may have been better. Do 
He can only block two. Eh, I don't got enough. But he would lose his Surak. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, it's not enough. I thought it was at first. <gasps> What are you doing, man? I could most I could do here is two six. I could do seven. If you block it, does it there's only way you could lose if you attack this goblin. He could have just attacked that last turn. I would have gave him the win. He had two tramplers. I I, sh I should be winning right now. Oh my God. Yeah, no blocks. You're good. Trust me. All right, well, that should have not lasted that long. So he's got nothing that threatens me in the sense of like, oh, apparently you want to take a land out. I don't think he has a lot of two power creatures, so I'll move that to the sideboard for that. I'll do that then. I have no Hall of Triumph. I don't know if you got I hit it too fast, but if you look at what it was there, there isn't a lot that's I guess you say common <laughs> in red decks. Um I even have a fire drink or Seder in there. I don't know, I always kinda sideboard that one out. I'm kinda hit hitting less and less with that. Um, Stokes would be one that I would put in. I'm trying to actually pull up my extra deck right now. I think I have one Horton Alpers in my current deck on MTGO, but not, not, in, not in real life, I don't. I think I have four Berserkers. Uh, I think I have a Rolster, too, in real life. Rolster, Rolster's a pretty solid sideboard card. Uh, yes, I will play first. So I feel like I should win this matchup. Uh, I'll keep this. Did he mow? Nope. So I can swing for five next turn. I love it when people play fetch lands against me. Like extra, it's extra, pretty much extra point of damage. Like I had a lot of games last last Friday. He didn't even play a card. Um, this is tough. I'm just actually just gonna make Majet him for two. I'll just do three damage this turn. Set up my scries. I really need. A, I really could use another creature. Um, I gotta make sure I do my scries right. I'm not used to this. There we go. There you go. Okay.
Angel of the Resolutes. Another fetch land. Not going to play anything again? Well, here I'm just going to... Um, yeah, I'll put that on top. So I mean, I'm just coming in for six here. I mean, <laughs> maybe I uh, see. I mean, there's no, I don't want to show my hand and it's a dash and heal cutter and save my save it for next turn. But here I'll, uh, he's not going to play anything again. Let's play that. He has not played one card yet. Either he's flooded. Doesn't matter now. Boon Seder? Wouldn't surprise me if he's flashing the Boon Seder. I will trade my Boon Seder for your Shaman, because I have another Shaman. <laughs> That's fine with me, buddy. So next turn, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but maybe I'll throw in another shaman out there. Depends what I draw. If he plays a creature this turn, I'll probably dash in heal cutter and then swing for five, six, put him at two. This is an easy choice now. I'd love to get another land, put him down to one. Oh. Nope. Let's just play it. No. I'm going to do this. I can't kill him this turn, so I'll just do this. Make my Berserker that much bigger. And the next turn, swing with my heel cutter. And the next turn, play my heel cutter. Because I can swing for six next turn on the dot. Unless he's going to play multiple creatures. Which he might, but he hasn't played any yet, so he's only played one creature per turn. I don't see me losing this one, but, you know, you never know. Feed the clan and, like, a boon slater, that'd be pretty tough to come back from 10, ten extra life. See, I wanted to play Rabble Master, and then just do nothing. Probably has a boon slater. Which is fine. I don't know what he has, but I'm not gonna. He's got something. I'm just gonna go wide. I mean, I could even just attack with a goblin. No, just make him take. Because if he plays a boon Seder, he'll die to my berserker. Alright. It's good. I probably would have blocked the Swift Spear, especially when I'm tapped out. 
I mean, you take an extra two damage out of it. But next turn, I'm just going deep. I'm going. But yeah, I didn't want to play heal cutter there and dash man because if you had a boon setter, then boon f uh, then uh heal cutter's ability doesn't trigger or doesn't trigger to where I can target his boon setter. So it's kind of pointless there, and then we would just trade that. But now next turn, I can attack with four, cr five creatures. Unless he has like some sort of fight mechanic that he's gonna play. But that's probably a another mandrills, which is fine. And maybe another boon sitter is fourth one. But that means he can only block one of them, which would probably be the rabble master. And then yeah, this should be over. Let's get that thing that makes it hexproof. That would suck. That's better. All right, so now this game's over. God, heal cutter is so awesome. <laughs> All right, so that one was a little better. Normally, it's kind of like how my mono red games go. I normally just have them on defense, 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 defense until a they overpower the board with superior blockers, or I mean, I wasn't playing a mirror match, but obviously they're gonna be zero zero. But I normally have pretty responsive, like where they're just responding to me, whether it be counter spells, blockers. You know, using their mana not necessarily to do stuff to me, but to prevent me from doing stuff to them, which is pretty cool. Um, as you guys have seen here, I've I've I play with a lot of decks. I don't know. I, I feel like mono red is probably suits me the best. Is I I I like attacking and I like beating people with decks that probably aren't the best. I mean, I know this deck. My, I think mono red <laughs> one pro tour dragon stark here, but he splash green for a tark. Command and people will splash green for like become immense, which is good. I'm not gonna say it's not, but that's just too cookie cutter for me. Uh, as you guys seen some of my videos, I, I hate cookie cutter decks, especially Abzan. So it's it, it it's cool to take. I don't wanna say I don't think I took the deck and put my spin on it, but I just built the cards that I like to play with. So, Rabbit Master I like to play with because I, I like him as a decoy or anything. Titan Strength I think is awesome. I I've always liked Titan Strength personally. Um, and you get to play a card. Mostly, mostly you're gonna you're gonna play a lot. Of, you're gonna play a lot early, and you get to be done early. So it's it's pretty nice. Um, and like I, I've always liked Shaman. I always thought Shaman was pretty cool. You know, it's just kind of a pain if you get you know turn five or turn four. You know, you play him and it gives you like five total creatures with like some Dragon Fodder and Rabble Master. It's just pretty tough to get around, and all those guys get counters. Um. All right, that's kind of a weird card to play, but I next. Next, I'm probably gonna well, obviously play my other land. I'm gonna attack. Hmm.
Okay, so I'm going to attack. I'll see what happens. No blocks. I will Titan Strength, probably. What is this? What does this ability do here? Uh... Yeah, I think this is a better use here. Save my guy, Scry 2. There's that fire drinker. And then I put that on the bottom. I don't need that. So next turn, I can play some cards. I will probably play a Denizen and attack, use tight strength. And then turn. Th hmm. Depends what I get on that scry. That's a pretty big scry if I if I play it. But he's got three cards. I got five. I have him in cards right now. It's probably not gonna attack. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no blocks. I can't block. I'm not. No, no, I'm not even gonna try. Another mystic, maybe another one of those guys. I'm trying to set up my plays here. I mean, I probably actually, if if he, I want to play a Denizen before I play Rabble Master. Oh, that sucks. I did not want to see that. No. Play a denizen, and I'm just gonna attack. I want to get rid of the, either the. I want to get rid of either one of those personally. Oh, he didn't even. Oh my god, I would have pumped it up if I knew he wasn't gonna do anything. Uh, if he attacks, I will. I could use another land here. A land, I'm playing Rebel Master. I will take six damage here. I'm not doing do anything. Oh, ho, ho. So my denizen, fuck. So he'll have 7, 10, 12, 13, 14. You know what I'm saying? I mean, unless he's going to... Yeah, obviously, I got to hit OK here. I say we just go with that. Actually, I'm just going to swing that in there, too. And my Rabble Master will be Emergency Blocker. See what he does.
I will uh, just get as much damage as I can here. Mm, don't need that. Oh, this is getting tough. I mean, if he's got a pump up spell, I'm in deep shit. Yeah, I think he does. He tags with all of them for sure in deep shit. I mean, I have to block, so. Yeah, if you have the aspect of Hydra, I'm dead anyway. Oh, I'm not. Interesting. <laughs> See, I don't know why I didn't play that first. I mean, obviously, I knew he had a block, and yeah, I'm just crit critiquing him, whatever. Definitely wouldn't crack that if I were you. I think he did. Okay. I am in trouble. At least make him think about it. Was that one man open a Titan Strength plate? He's out of cards, so uh, no. Good. If I could somehow like chump him in just to talk him with the two reverend hunters, I will double block. Shit, I can't double block. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't to help me. All right, well, tough loss. Two one. Kind of got some weird stuff happened game one, but. I'm not. I'll show you the I'll show you the deck list in case you guys are wondering. But again, I, I know I need the sideboard to touch up. I only have like five cards in my sideboard that needs to be touched up. Ah, no. This is kind of bullshit, but... Alright, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have you guys listen to this, so, oh, you see some, actually a lot more magic stuff coming out, uh, I'm actually doing a draft tonight, so I'll have that probably up by the night too, hopefully, but, first draft ever, so, tune in, hopefully, next video up, Mono Red for Life.